absolutely not. Do I have to do it? Do I need to do this? Yes. Absolutely, I do. My closet has gotten to a point where I can't fit anything else in it. Whenever I wash clothes, I just have to like shove them in because nowhere has anywhere to go. I also don't even wear half these clothes in my closet anymore. I always find myself gearing towards the same things. So it's time to just purge it all. And honestly, this is only the hanging stuff in my closet. I will show you my row closet. There is, let me just tell you, the real mess is the bottom of the closet. Not the hanging stuff, the stuff that's in the drawers. That's the real problem. I also found the motivation to do this by making a rather large order from Abercrombie, from Zara, from Skims, from H&M. There's probably a place I'm missing. The point is, I just spent a lot of money, probably like an hour ago, kind of revamping my entire wardrobe and closet, and the only way I will have any room for that is if I get rid of all of this. So, here is my closet clean out. My huge closet clean out. <laughs> this is gonna take me a couple days, but we're gonna do it. We're gonna get it done. So while I was pulling all this out, I was making little mental notes of the things I want to keep, the things I want to donate, and the things I want to put on Poshmark. I am going to be selling a lot of this over on my Poshmark, and I will also be documenting that process as well. That will probably be in the next, like, two, three weeks. Again, that's going to take me a long time to do, too. This is this entire closet thing is not going to be, like, a one-day thing. It won't even be a two-day thing. This is probably going to take me, like, three weeks to really fully get all this done. But I'm not going to worry about how long this is going to take. I'm just going to be worrying about the end product and how happy I'm gonna be when one my bank account is flourishing because I sold half of this and two I have way more room in my closet and then three I just have a better idea of the things I want to wear what my style is a little over a year ago I had this like main character arc new era thing that I entered where I changed my style from just kind of anything to a more refined business casual only wearing neutrals very like mature professional type outfits and while I have loved that era of life I think I now want to move this into like Still this like classic chic style, but I also want to be able to introduce some like younger items into my closet and just like revamp my style again. Like I feel like I'm still in the learning process of what I like to wear, what looks good on me, what brands fit my body type well, what is worth spending a lot of money on. I really don't shop like fast fashion anymore. At least I try not to, but you know, sometimes it ends up happening, but I'm really trying to focus on investing more in pieces, you know, buying like really nice quality jeans, buying nice quality jackets, buying like, you know, tank tops that aren't gonna go bad after one season. So really just like focusing my wardrobe on what I want long-term instead of thinking short-term. So that is really where the growth of this um, whole closet clean out thing has come from. Before I go through this hanging stuff, let me show you what the rest of the closet looks like. It's very embarrassing and it's like the main source of problem here is my closet so this is what the rest of it looks like and this is truly the problem area specifically right here all this is is lounge clothes and lounge clothes that I never even wear because I always end up in the same sweatpant and sweatshirt combo I don't know why I thought I needed like 40 gray sweatpants and 30 sweatshirts and this and that like I just have too much of stuff that I don't even wear so this is really where the problem comes from but I think if I get the top area done and then move on to this it'll just be a lot easier I know it looks like I'm keeping everything but I promise you these are my like staple jackets these are things that never go out of style and you would be very proud of me I'm giving up one of my favorite jackets, a jacket that I know I will never be able to find ever again. One, because the store closed. Two, just because it's not even like winter time anymore and I'm gonna have to wait until next season to try and find another. And three, because the price was just insanely good and my other option for this is probably gonna be like an Aritzia Super Puff, but that is like $200 and this jacket was like $12. It's from Charlotte Russe which doesn't exist anymore, at least I don't think it does. And if you're wondering why I'm getting rid of it, there is this huge, like, brown stain on it. You can't really see it, and I've somehow finessed my way into wearing it anyway. I have to get rid of her, but like, I've literally had her for years, and I'm so sad to get rid of it, but I have to. So we're making some good progress and I currently have 
four piles going so everything over here is what i'm gonna be keeping and i know it looks like a lot but i am trying to be very strategic with what i keep these are things that i like but i need to try on this pile right here is donation and then right here is everything for poshmark one more thing i want to say before i get back to this because i actually oh there you go I actually think I have had an amazing idea and I don't know why it's taken me so long to get to this. In my last closet cleanouts, I found it very hard to get rid of things that are kind of like staples but aren't necessarily things that I really love anymore. For example, this little like striped dress, I got this in high school and I wore it a lot, like a lot, a lot. I just don't love it. Like the stripes just aren't really doing it for me anymore. I don't love the sleeves having this like weird rolled up thing. Like I'd much rather have this dress in like plain white or plain black. I'd rather it be linen or just like better quality than this. Like I feel like it's very obvious that this is just like, you know, a fast fashion dress from H&M. So what I'm gonna do is get rid of it, but I'm gonna start a notes app, not a notes app. I'm gonna start notes in the app that are called notes. I don't know, you know what I mean? I'm gonna start a new thing and I'm gonna write down like closet essentials, things that I'm gonna get rid of right now, but things that I have to rebuy. I know I told you I just made a very big purchase, but I'm just gonna have to keep doing it again because with summer coming up, I know I need one of these dresses and I'm actually going on vacation very soon. Like, oh my God, I'm going on vacation next week. Oh God. <laughs> A new problem I gotta worry about, I gotta pack. But yeah, this is something that I would have been bringing on the trip with me and I'm not going to because I'm gonna get rid of it. So I need to write down in these notes like big t-shirt dress. Well, I finished it. This is everything off the floor it's all done here is a good look at it again one more time poshmark donation try on keep i don't plan to actually start any of the poshmark stuff for at least another like week or two like i'm probably not going to do any of this until i get back from my vacation or i might do like little things here and there because it actually is a very long process i know i said this already but i am going to be doing an entire video about poshmark i've made at this point i've made over a thousand dollars on poshmark and that was like my quarantine project and i feel like i've just slowly been adding things to it but i haven't done like a huge Poshmark re-upload in a very long time so I am going to be recording that entire process and let's hope I can make like $5,000 on the rest of this stuff because there's definitely very expensive things in here that I just sadly don't love anymore can't wear and it might be even more after I do this whole try on pile so next thing I'm gonna do is put these clothes back into my closet and again I'll probably pull some more things out of it let myself pick and choose we will pack this up and then I'll do the whole try on part. And then I actually think maybe that's all I'm gonna do for today. Everything is hung up in my closet. I think once this is done, it will all look a lot cleaner. Like having this under part still be very messy. Just looks like the top is still messy too. So I'm looking forward to having this cleaned by tomorrow. And looking at it, I don't think it's gonna be that much. Like truthfully, there's not that much in these drawers. It's just like random things that I never end up wearing. It's really like right here. Whenever it comes time to trying on clothes and doing closet cleanouts and all of those things, I feel like it is so easy for me to get down on myself or for me to feel bad that like I've gained weight or something. So I'm putting this out here now. I'm telling you, but also telling myself, I am not meant to fit into clothes. Clothes are meant to fit me. So let's say that there's something in this pile that I absolutely love, but it's a little too tiny. I'm not gonna get mad at myself I'm not gonna throw a fit. I'm not gonna not eat dinner because you know now I feel like I need to lose all this weight Like I'm just gonna let it be set it to the side and write in my little notepad that I want to get that same exact thing But in a bigger size and just not worry about the size and I know it's easier said than done But it's taken me a very long time to get to this point There's this whole stigma about like wearing a big size, you know I feel like I even played into a little bit like I wouldn't want to get like a large or an extra large when like it's perfectly fine Literally who gives a fuck what size clothing? that I'm wearing and no one even knows the size. It just matters what it looks like on and what I feel the most comfortable in. So let's care less about those little crazy stupid things and let's care more about how we feel and how we feel the most confident and the most beautiful in. So I just wanna give that little note before I start trying these on because 
this could be a little triggering. I'm not gonna let it be triggering though. And I also need to remind myself, a lot of these clothes I've had since high school. It's inevitable that I wasn't gonna stay the same size. Like there was no way around it. So just remember, you are not meant to fit clothes. Clothes are meant to fit you. And that's all I have to say. Then you fall back Giving me signs that I've seen before Yeah, it's cute, but honey, I want more Here's everything that I chose to keep And then the rest of it went into the Poshmark pile So I'm done with the closet clean out for today The top row of my closet is complete So I'm signing off and I'll see you tomorrow to finish this up I'm gonna start off by organizing all of like my socks and the undergarments and all of those type of things And I'm kind of at a crossroads right now though because I have a lot of Mitch match socks And I tried to do this thing where I just paired them all together Even if they weren't like matching like just because it was the same brand I put them together, but I'm kind of thinking what if I Get rid of all the socks that don't have matches and then just rebuy all matching socks I kind of feel like that's a little wasteful though because I'm not gonna sell them. I'm not gonna sell socks I'm not gonna donate the socks because they're like Mitch matchy and like my foot has been in them for You know a long time like I just you know, it's not something you donate But I don't know if I should just get rid and rebuy all new ones or just like take the time to go through and find matches Because I have a lot of the same company and I have a lot of like packs of socks, you know, like I have a lot of these like Avia ones, Avia ones, I don't know. I feel like they're the popular Walmart ones. I have a lot of those too, but I feel like I do not have matching ones. So kind of figuring out what to do with that. So for the stuff in all these drawers, I'm just gonna dump it out and do it this way because I don't know what I'm gonna keep, don't know what I'm gonna give away, and I'm not sure how I'm gonna organize it after the fact. I have three of these big draw things and I definitely don't have three things worth of clothes to fill, so we might have a lot of empty space today, but that would be great because then I can fit all my new clothes in it. Um, looking at this pile already, I think I'm gonna be putting all of this on Poshmark because these are all things that have never been worn before. like literally tags still on it but i know for a fact these don't fit me they're a size four i already know half of this is probably gonna go to poshmark but i'm gonna dump the rest of this out and then we'll get started i have like an hour until i'm supposed to start getting ready for all the stuff so let's see if we can get this done <laughs> Of those three bins, this is everything that I'm keeping. So I have a couple pair of Zara shorts, which I don't love the way these fit me, but I actually am going on a vacation next week and I need some shorts. We're going somewhere tropical, so I can't get rid of all of it, but this is like a note to self. But I'm also saving these dress pants from Zara and then these linen pants. But other than that, this is all I'm gonna be keeping. So I need to make a mental note, put it in the actual notes app that I need to get some pants. I did it. I completed my closet clean out. <laughs> Yay! And I'm so tired and exhausted right now. I just want to lay on this floor for the next foreseeable future, but I can't because I still have this <laughs> right here that needs to get taken care of, and then this right here, which is the donation pile. And then this, these are things that need to get hung up, which there's actually not that much there. It's just like chunky sweaters, so it looks big, but this is like the last of it. And then I just gotta shove those into my closet, but we did it, guys. <sighs> I'm so happy. This is like a big weight lifted off my shoulder, and I still have 45 minutes until all my plans start, so yay, I'm so happy, this is great.
Okay, closet transformation is officially complete. Let me show you this first. So this is where I'm gonna keep everything. Here's everything for Poshmark. Here's what I'm gonna be donating. And then here are just extra hangers for, you know, when I get new clothes or whatever ends up happening. But I'm gonna leave it here in the corner of my apartment. And let's hope that this is motivation for me to get this on Poshmark. Here's what the closet looks like. So we have the three bins at the bottom. I have pajamas right here. This is like underwear bras. Bathing suits are in this Harry Potter bag, and then I just threw some clothes back here that have to go home. They're like clothes I borrowed from my mom. And then we have all the hanging stuff up here. So looking at this wardrobe, I feel pretty confident about what I have, but I definitely need my new clothes to come in so I could have an abundance of clothes to wear. And then I have shoes over here, which I have not moved. This is like accessories. That's my Christmas tree. I have some luggage up there and then more shoes over here. I do actually think I want to go through my shoes and get rid of some of those as well, but I think that's going to be a problem for another time. That's not something that I'm going to focus on today. Uh, one, because I don't want to. Two, because I think I need to get all of that handled before I can, you know, then do more. And I've said this a hundred times, but I cannot tell you how excited I am and happy and just overjoyed that this is done. I know when I get dressed later to go out, I'm gonna be so happy that I can just reach in, grab it, I won't have to worry about like stuffing it back in or, you know, worrying if I don't know where things are and whatnot. So really happy with that. And this is where I end this. So I post videos every Tuesday and Thursday at 3 p.m. So it's never too long before there's a new video for me. And thanks for coming along on this journey. I will see you in my next video. Bye.